never know we're on a ship. This is the renowned official casino ship of Port Burlington. Along with the casino, there are restaurants, a pool bar, a health spa, and everything else you could ever want. All those people are all gamblers? Oh, no. Most of them are just moderately rich with too much free time and looking to have a night of dreams and excitement. By the way, where is Dante? I don't see him anywhere. This way. My apologies, but I believe this hand is mine. Three of a kind. Damn it. Well, no big deal. This game's just getting underway. The fun's just beginning. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. The longer one gambles, the more interesting it becomes. The same as a kiss. <laughs> if you're able to beat me, I'll give you a nice long kiss, the likes of which you've never experienced. <laughs> now that's something to look forward to. I'd better be careful not to lose the clothes off my back. <laughs> the man who just won is Gold Arm Joe, said to have a golden arm. The woman across the table is also well known. They say that she has the luck of a goddess. She's known as Lucky Amanda. The older gentleman next to her, Santa Claus. Poker ace that they say can read people's thoughts. <laughs> All these people are trying to act so refined, but their eyes are burning with greed. All right, let's play. Please, save my husband, Paul. He likes to gamble? Yes. He was a straight and narrow man before we got married. But then it's like he became a different person all of a sudden and got addicted to gambling. Gambling is like a sickness, but there's one big difference between a gambling addiction and getting a common cold. There's no medicine they found yet to cure yourself of it. You might as well just give up on him. Please! If my husband goes on like this, he could be killed! Come on. Hey, don't be so cold, Dante. Huh? You know, you should always be nice to the ladies. Or try to. I know it may not sound like it, but this job could be up your alley. Uh, next, please. Pass. Mm. Raise. I'll raise you five hundred. Fold. I'm dropping out too. No call. Call. Three of a kind. Nothing. Sorry, kids. Full house. <laughs> well, if the night keeps up like this, I'll be going home with a bag full of money again. I see. So that's why you're Santa Claus. It's a clever nickname. Thank you. When tonight's game is over, why not let me treat you to breakfast? 
Sure. That is, as long as you're not thrown out by then for being flat broke. <laughs> we have quite a collection of inflated egos here, don't we? By the way, have any of you heard of a gambler known as King? Yes, one hears of him quite a lot as of late. Apparently he's supposed to be a gambler from hell who takes the lives of his opponents. Huh, nothing but silly rumors. They most definitely are. However, it is true that a certain number of gamblers have died after losing to this mysterious individual. Some say he's a white-bearded elderly man. Others say King is a charming, beautiful woman. But the truth is that no one knows for sure what he or she looks like. But still, if such a person actually exists, what would you give to play a hand or two with this remarkable competitor? Hmm? King? Yes. It's said he's a gambler who brings death. There have been a number of well-known gamblers who've recently gone missing. The only common thread is... They all went out to play cards, and then they never came back. Before long, there were rumors all over the city with people saying that anyone plays this king will end up dead. Hmm. So this king could be a demon. Is that what you're saying, Morrison? If that's true, I guess I gotta gamble with the demon. You'd probably be better off not doing that. Do you even remember how much money you owe me right now? I mean, you totally suck at gambling. <laughs> because I'm nice to the women when I play. Hey, Dante, when are you gonna pay out for the game you lost to me earlier? I'm nice to the women and children. But how do I find a guy when I don't even know what he looks like? If I just play cards wherever, this will take forever. An infinite amount of money. Shut your face. A letter? It's an invitation to that luxury cruise ship turned casino operating in the next town over. It was sent by King. Huh? Since he went to the trouble to invite us, it would be bad form not to accept. But since you'll be going anyhow, you can grant that woman's request. You did say you're nice to women and children, didn't you? Damn. <laughs> I don't know who this King guy is, but he seems like one stuck-up son of a bitch. That is, if anyone's asking me. But it's interesting. If King is really here among us, and I beat him, my reputation will soar even higher. Yeah, King is among us. I have a feeling we'll all eventually find out. <laughs> Three thousand. Fold. I'm out. I fold as well. <laughs> I don't have enough chips. Huh. Well then, I guess you'll just have to sit there and watch quietly. I'll raise. I'll raise five thousand. Oh, the game is on. Hey, you. <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. Don't you think it's better for you to go home? Before you make your pretty wife cry? Leave me alone. Just be quiet. Let's just see your hand. Hmm. He's holding three of a kind. His face down card could give him a full house. Just to be safe. All right, let's play. I'm all in. Well, it's time for a showdown, then. Full house. Four of a kind. I, I did it! Maybe the rumors are true. I wonder. If you're scared, you should just go home, get in bed, and go to sleep. Well, aren't we arrogant? Maybe you're king. Maybe I am, but we'll know the truth soon enough, and I'll bet the reveal will be the most fun of the night. You can have your fun, but don't you think you're the most likely to go broke next? <laughs> the real pleasure of gambling is turning the tables completely right in the final moments of the game. What are you talking about? Huh? You're losing just like we predicted, aren't you? You're totally hopeless without me. I'll take over from here. Hey, Patty. <laughs> Interesting. It's best to teach them just how cruel the world can be while they're still young. Uh, 
What are you... I didn't expect to see you here. I heard there was a big poker tournament on this ship, and, and I just had to come. Are you that worried? I'm jealous. It's okay. Your husband hasn't lost anything. He'd probably be better off not doing that. So you're not going to go and see how he's doing? No. It's not like I could get him to stop anyway. All right, then. here for kids games. So you can lose the pompous attitude until you beat me. Deal the cards. What the hell? What's Patty doing here? Well, now that she's here, there's nothing we can do about it. Shit. So tell me, genius, have you figured out who this king is exactly? Not yet. I'd say he's a clever one. I guess the only thing we can do is keep winning. I guess so. But you know, it's a risky bet. But that's what gambling's all about now, isn't it? Be careful. Sure. Come on, honey, make up your mind. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> you seem to have an aptitude, but you've got a long way to go. Time for a substitution. Hey, what's going on? I was just getting worked. This is my job. <sighs> nice work, Patty. I played it safe like you told me, but these people are good. Dante's going to get eaten alive. That I don't doubt at all, but Dante's got a job to do, and that's a game he never loses. The only thing we can do now is sit around, pray he succeeds, and have a cup of coffee. Fine then, but I'll take tea, because coffee's way too bitter for me. Okay, okay. I fold. Hmm, two pairs, eh? She's the only one who seems to have a decent hand. With those cards, she could have three of a kind. If she does, I'm finished. Ah, she always plays with her hair when she's bluffing. She's not holding three of a kind. It's a bluff. I'll raise 8,000 and call. I fold. I fold. <laughs> Very smart, boys. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll raise 15,000 and call. I'm all in. Hmm. Trying to bring me down with a bluff. I see right through you, young lady. Fine. It's on. I'm all in. Oh, too bad. Hmm? Looks like I got you, Grandpa. Three of a kind. I win. So you did get me. Looks like senility is setting in for me. Please excuse me. The loser will silently take his leap from the stage. Now we know for sure. Someone here is king. Let's continue the game. Interesting. But I won't lose out to anyone with my luck. You watch. I'll annihilate this king. It's just not normal. Don't any of these people think they can lose? Aren't they scared of dying? I win. This can't be. I'm known as Lucky Amanda. There's no way I could lose. I don't lose. That's another one. Now it's... Yeah, this is the end. Well, now, I guess it comes down to you and me, then. I didn't think you'd be left standing this long. If I beat... If 
I beat you here, that would make me king. Well, come on. Deal the cards! holding a royal straight flush. That's not... All in. You're still in your fourth guard. How about we say that whatever happens next, we show down. It looks like both of us got a final attack to launch. Fine. So it's all or nothing. I accept. But I'm afraid I'm a little low on chips. If I lose, I'll pay the difference with my life. Sound good? That's a deal. Now come on, let's have it. Let's see that last card. So, it's a showdown. A king of hearts. That's a royal straight flesh. And Dante? Straight flush. When two players have the same hand, spades win. Sarah, I'm sorry. He did it. Did they win, Morrison? Morrison? <laughs> There's nothing in this world as interesting to me as when people are gambling, especially when they're betting their lives. It's the greatest. This isn't over yet. Lady, the next game's against you. The rules are simple. Whoever gets a bullet through the other's heart first wins. Got it? Dante? Dante? Stop, Dante! Congratulations. I suppose that you're tonight's winner. It's you. So in the end, you're shot and killed by your own friend? It makes for a quite beautiful ending. Stay back. So you're the demon, this king. You're half right and half wrong. What do you mean by that? It didn't matter who played as king. Whoever held an item into which I bestowed my magic would be captivated by gambling in exchange for extraordinary luck. And that person would act as king. I wish this man had won for me, but maybe I was hoping for too much. So it was a trap from the beginning. Please don't fret. Soon you'll be as dead as he is. As will those two. And all the passengers on the ship. Sorry to spoil your party, but I'm waiting for this moment. The moment when you show your face to brag about your victory. Daddy! How did she... You're wondering if your magic failed on me? No. It worked just fine. To be honest, I only figured out what was going on by chance. And that's how I figured it out. The watch was the mechanism of King. You were using this to turn regular people into King and control them, weren't you? So you were just pretending to be possessed by its magic? No, I was entirely possessed by it. I knew it was the only way to keep winning and stay in the game to the end. And ultimately, I draw you out. It was a gamble. I avoided hitting your heart as promised, didn't I? Actually, <clears throat> you grazed it a bit. Damn. I've got a lesson for you. Successful gambling is something you can't do without an accomplice. Why am I? You're a tough one. OK, 
Okay, then. How about something like this? Dante! Ace of spades. I win. So basically, it was all part of your plan? You letting yourself be possessed, then having Lady snap you out of it if push came to shove? Hey, I said I was sorry already, didn't I? And don't sweat the small stuff, kid. Come on, you guys. Let's do this. Sure are confident. Must have some good cards there. Hmm. I'll pass this time. I'll take three. All right. Let's see who's got what. A full house. How do you like that? Royal Street Flush. I win. We'll just add your losses to your debt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. The hell with this. My father betrayed demonkind and fought for mankind. From the human perspective, he's a legendary hero. In the minds of the demons, he's the perpetrator of an unforgivable crime. But there may have been some demons out there who could understand my father's thinking. If there really is such a demon out there, I'd sure like to meet him. Next mission, The Last Promise.